oof, hopped in the queue, and then it popped off immediately. Nothing, nothing finer. Well, there's some things happening. We got an Urza and Fractured Identity. Those are two of my favorites in this pack. I do love Flexian Fresh Gorger. That's that's what we can call it if we switch those things. Uh, Static Suicide. I haven't heard anything about it. No, I don't think anyone emailed me. Those buttery biscuits. I think I think it's probably just Urza here. Fresh Identity is good, but I think I like sticking to one color. If Flesh Gorger or Relic comes back, that'd be cool. If Water Grave comes back, that'd be cool. So I'll take an Urza. An Orza, if you will. You ever you ever call him an Orza? Uh Narset seems good here. Intuition's interesting in that it kind of feels a little like Gifts Ungiven. Where, like, you're mostly just trying to make sure the two cards you put in the graveyard are useful. But that's kind of hard to do. I mean, in Constructed, the most common use for Intuition back in the day was searching for three of the same card. So it's literally just a three-mana Demonic Tutor at the at instant speed. Um, not really applicable in Cube when everything's a one-of. Anyway, we'll take Narset. Look at this Daze. Oh, we could also take Talisman because of Urza. Palace Jailer is really good. I was gonna take the days just because it got it's gotten me a lot recently. And I kind of want to be the uh the villainy you wish to see in the world, I guess. But I think Talisman is a little stronger. I mean turn three Urza is pretty good. I'll take the talisman here. Okay, Urza's Saga. We have Urza and his Saga now. That's pretty good. If this Lose Focus comes back, that'd be great. If Tameshi comes back, that'd be great. Yeah, Urza's Saga's a pretty easy pick there. And we can also kind of lean into it and um, take things that, that go with it. I got this Magnetizer. <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys... Uh, Hold on, let me let me let me highlight a pick here. I it could be brainstorm. I think it's actually just Chalice here. I kind of want to. We can pick it with Urza Saga, um, and I think again ramping into Urza or even something bigger is is nice. Um, so I don't know if you guys are into any tool tool esque things, but it's meant to magnetize and demagnetize things like screwdrivers. So you take your screwdriver and you're like stick it in there, and then it magnetizes it. And it's really good. Like, I was really impressed. You guys couldn't see that, but... For some reason... There you go. Look at that. It was very impressive. I couldn't get over. Definitely taking Chromo Seed Shark here. Um, again, it's like... I feel like there's one clear pick for the deck we're building, but then a bunch of other good picks for, like, a blue-white control deck. Miscalc is great. Path is great. But, like, Seed Shark... Makes artifacts that we can tap for Urza. It's good with the artifact deck. So, that's where we are. Subtlety? Alright. I think we're just, yeah, we're just taking all the mono blue cards here. And Durl's fine. Heart of Kieran, I don't think we're going to be Heart of Kieraning. Yeah, I'll just take Subtlety. Subtlety's a solid card. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, kind of glad I took that Talisman of Progress because now we're taking Genesis Engine. That's kind of funny. You know, if you gotta be blue-eyed artifacts, so be it. Man, I, I have absolutely loved this card. I think I've also made it very clear, but...
you know, when we have a talisman and we've been past a lot of good blue and white cards, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna look a gift Shirokai Genesis engine in the mouth, as they say. Oh, what's up, Gavin? Uh, that might not even be its mouth. You don't, you, you have no idea where its mouth is either, you know? Could just, could just not even have, my, is, is, is the, is Magic Online so good? It's been a while. I feel like it's been a while since we took our pick and eight, eight picks in, I feel like we should, uh, not, not take this long, but people are still talking, so. You know. All right, this is... Oh, there we go. Thank thank goodness. Well, Coalition Relic's decent. Worm Coil is also a nice payoff for the artifact deck. I do like Flesh Gorger, but... I like it less than Worm Coil if we're just having to cast it for full value. Uh, I definitely don't think Blue-Eyed Artifact is the best archetype. I think this is just what we landed in. Uh, I think we're just taking Relic here. Intuition came back. So did another Talisman, a White-Red Talisman. I'll take the White-Red Talisman, I think. I don't, like, I, I guess I don't have the insight to, fig to like, to know what we're doing with Intuition. Like, this doesn't feel like a deck we're putting two cards in the graveyard is really going to be beneficial. I feel like none of the cards we wanted came back. That's unfortunate. Tameshi, but at this point, I think almost Blade Splicer might be better. No, it's got to be Tameshi. We can return Urza Saga to our hand. That's pretty interesting. Mm, Guardian Scale Lord seems fine here. I mean, honestly, all of these are some level of playable, so that seems okay. Oh, that's a late Ugin. Wow. That actually seems really good in this deck when we have three two-mana accelerants. Um, hello? Well, it's a green mox, which is something. Not the best, but it is something. I mean, we're taking it. One day, I'll, oh my god, I literally made a note <laughs> that I need to make emotes. Oh lord. I'm going to take mox emerald here. He said, as if there was any question. She just wants her um hello emotes, you know? Give the girl her emotes. What do we got here? Small Tefri, which is very, very good. No fixing yet. Windswept Heath is an option. I don't think Sheldock Isle is going to benefit us tremendously. I kind of just want this Tefri. I don't know if Shops is that good for us yet. Like, right now we have these two. This. Like, Shop only accelerates this, like, by one turn. Like, we'd have to play it on turn three instead of four. It's not super exciting. Like, despite the fact that we have Urza, like, we're not really an artifact deck right now. I think I just want this Teferi. 
Oh, a Celestial Colonnade. That's a spicy number. We'll take that. Also, if Delta or Windswept Heath comes back, that's totally fine. And we can definitely build around those. And by build around those, I mean get the lands that accompany them. Oh, man, I got so excited by this Underground Sea. Oh, the One Ring, though. Ooh, that's a gem. Ooh, I like that, actually. Sort by mana value. Interesting. I mean, True Name Nemesis is great. Staff, Staff of the Storyteller is pretty good here, especially with Chromo Seed Shark, Urza, and Genesis Engine. I think we got to take the One Ring, though, right? Am I crazy? Staff might come back. If Staff, tre uh, True Name, Trinket, or Sky, if any of these four come back, like, I'd be very okay with that. Well, this is kind of a kind of a poo pack. I guess we just take Mentor here. I don't think it's I don't think it's the Sky Sovereign. I mean, it might just be Jace as well. I don't think it's Jace. <laughs> I was waiting for you to go live for a bit now. You might want to disable alerts for a minute. Oh, dear God. Thank you. How, what? What is happening? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. I don't even know what we took there. I think it was just Thank a Jace. You. Yeah, we're definitely taking Remand here. Jace is actually fine. I don't know if I would have played either of those. What in the earth? <sighs> okay. I, I'm disabling my desktop audio. Let me know if you guys can still hear it because that's utterly ridiculous. <laughs> Kiss him. Thank you so much, dude. Oh, man. That... That is something right there. Oh, it's really hard. It's always hard to focus on the draft when you actually get this this kind of ridiculous generosity. Oh, well, I think we've uh, achieved the sub goal today, so that's nice. Oh man, good grief! <sighs> is it Kappa Cannoneer or is it Time Warp? These are the questions. I do like a Kappa Cannoneer. It's a good. It's a good end game threat. It's a game winning threat for sure. Yeah, let's take the Cannoneer here. This is kind of the, the, the perfect deck for a Cannoneer, I think. Oh, a Psy. Okay. Well. Thank you. Oh, yeah, Kessa, please definitely make sure you apologize for gifting 50 subs. That's, uh, I'm just terribly off put by it. <laughs> Can I, what if I lower my desk? I'm going to lower my speakers because I think you, let me know if you can still hear it because now I lowered it so that I can't even hear it because really, it's just too much, you know? I'll take an Elspeth here. I think Elspeth is better than Spellseeker here. Um, do I care about Unctus? Not really. We have seven creatures. I think Thraben Inspector might be fine. I don't think we're Mystic Forging. Again, like... We have artif artifact synergies, but we're not an artifact deck, per se. Uh, this is just what? This is going to literally exile something that costs two. I guess we're just taking... Uh, maybe this gets better. We don't have a ton of... Oh, Staff came back. That's fantastic. Wow. And Mentor came back. So the two cards in that pack I was thinking of taking before I got utterly destroyed... Uh were Mentor and Jace, and both ended up coming back. Oh, man. <laughs> Absolutely nuts, dude. Absolutely nuts. Um, yeah, either Spell Mom's fine. I, Growth Chamber's just not going to do anything for us, really.
Okay, so no no second power. Mox Opal, probably pretty good here. We have Staff, Thraben, Aether, Talisman, Talisman, Chalice, Coalition Relic early. Yeah, I could I can get behind a Mox Opal here. It's banned in modern after all, you know? Put the other mocks here. We also have Portable Hole, which is just another artifact. I actually have no idea when these when these gifted subs will end, you know? Could be never. I wish this was a Tundra. I think we're just taking Grim Monolith, however. Yeah, I like a Grim Monolith here. Grim Monolith into turn three Coveted Jewel. That seems good if we don't absolutely get destroyed by not having a ton of things to... Uh, I think we take Portal in case we find a Tinker. Also, there's nothing else in this pack for us, really. Parallax Wave is good, but we don't have a deck that's really going to take advantage of Parallax Wave. Well, I think because it's a new month, there is no number one spot currently. So it's literally just Kesem at 50 and then no one else at two or three. Because we we went on that we went on our little Florida vacation, so like, I just haven't been on as as much in January yet. So definitely taking Spar's headquarters though. It's two colors that we are in. So plus I am we have a lot of playables right now. And Spar's headquarters along with the Mox Emerald and Mox Opal and Coalition Relic actually make Prismatic. Omen a little bit more playable. Prismatic Omen, that's not what it is. Prismatic Ending? Yeah, there we go. Because it's at least three colors with green. And it could be up to four or five with Relic. So, definitely a consideration. Kassim, dude, thank you so much, man. Unbelievable. I did see the 9.8 Spidey that sold today. I think it went for like 1.3 million or something. So, babe, keep that in mind. Good Christmas gift. Amazing Spider-Man number one at Heritage Auctions. It was a 9.8. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty much insane. I think it's just Lorian Revealed here. I mean, it's either Lorien or like Wrath of God. I don't think we're playing the double white cards though. That feels a little greedy. May have to be next year instead of this year. Yeah, that's totally fine. I understand. <laughs> you know, Kess, I'm really, really glad you're in a place where you can where you can show your appreciate appreciation. Really. That's, um, as someone who was laid off, uh, I definitely know that feeling. So really glad you are out of the woods in that regard. I'll guess I'll take Rafine's Tower. Thran Dynamo is cool too, but I'd rather have the blue white fixing. Emery, interesting. There's also a Golos. And with tower and headquarters, we have two, we have, we're, the only thing we're missing is like a, a way to make red, but then we have relic and mox opal and talisman of conviction. I think this is more of a golo stick. Okay. We're going to have to kind of rework this a little bit. I feel like we have all the cards for a good deck. I'm going to take spell bomb out, probably even take three, inspector out. Like I'm not, sold on one mana white card. Astral Dragon. Hmm. Enlightened Tutor is interesting. Like, it can go get pretty much anything in our deck. Portal to Phyrexia, Coveted Jewel, Kappa Cannoneer, Golos, One Ring, Genesis Engine. It gets a lot. Sarah Paragon is decent. Astral Dragon is pretty interesting. Dude, the, the gifted subs are still going. 
Jesus. Oh, man. Can you guys hear them or no? I hope you can't, because I, I even I acknowledge that in this quantity, they're, it's quite an obnoxious... Yeah, Sarah Paragon's fine. Oh, I do like a ley line binding. <clears throat> like, even at three, ley line binding feels better than prismatic ending. Which is easy to get with both tower and headquarters. Sure, we'll take a ley line binding. Bolus is Citadel. Doesn't really do much. Crater Hoof? Eh. Yeah, I think we're getting nothing now. I do wish we had a fetch land, but I guess we have Lorien Revealed, which is kind of like a fetch land, to be honest. I think Wall of Roots. Oust? It's playable. Wrath of God came back. That's good. Shattered Sanctum and Nettle Cyst. Each artifact. Let's we can try Nettle Cyst, actually. Nettle Cyst seems decent here. Oh my god. Katie with the gifted sub to take the number one, the number two slot. Man. That's what wives are for. Yeah, it's kind of a sound effect where you hear it even when you don't hear it. You know? 81 months, 19 away. <laughs> Sammy, I believe that you can get to the 100 mark, buddy. Thank you, Sammy. I appreciate you, my dude. Okay, this is interesting. I do think we play, like, Silent Clearing just for the... Um, just for the fixing. I don't actually know if we play... This is gonna... It's gotta... You gotta still play Urza Saga even if you can't search for things, right? It just makes... It makes threats. It's just a really card. It's just a card to make some threats, you know? Shua Garner with the five gifts. <laughs> yeah, you ever negtol? <laughs> oh, yeah, but I have no idea what that means. Okay, everything here seems pretty good. I think Tameshi's a little cute. Maybe. Shua Garner, man. Really appreciate you guys. I'm still on the board. <laughs> uh, that's the important thing. Okay. So. Huh. Is Portal to Phyrexia just a dream? I might just be a dream. We'll take Wrath of God out for now. Sarah Paragon out. I like all four of these. Guardian Scale Lord feels good, and it's a pretty easy splash for one white. I do like Ugin. I don't know if I'm I don't know if I'm portal ready. We don't have any ways to really take advantage of portal. We can't tinker it. We can't um goblin welder slash Duretti slash goblin engineer it out. <laughs> oh yeah if anyone wants to be Kesem's lead knock yourselves out I, I swear I will not I will not put up a fight uh, so this is 24 cards we also have Mox Opal which I kind of don't want to play as a land we have a lot of good options here for white cards Mentor, Elspeth, Sarah Paragon, Wrath of God, Prismatic Ending. Even Jace is probably fine. Nettle Cyst is interesting. Whenever one or more non creature forms are returned to hand, draw a card. Like, what's going to return to hand? Like, nothing that we can do actually bounces anything. It's not an artifact. Return a land you control to its owner's hand. And then return an artifact or enchantment with value X or less from your hero to the battlefield. Like, it'd be nice to, like, return something. Like, we a, a lot of our artifacts just aren't dying, is really... I don't think we're coveted jeweling. <laughs> it, this card scares me, man. It's great when you... And I also think we can take out Tameshi. And I think this 23 is pretty decent. I'm tempted to take out Overflowing Chalice as well. 
Because I think we already have Monolith and two Talismans, and we're going to have Mox Emerald. So if I take that out, we get one more, one more slot here. Is this any good? Like, if we had a way to, like, sacrifice the One Ring and then bring it back, that would be cool. But we already have Guardian Scale Lord that's getting, getting stuff back. Could just be either spell bomb as like a cheap artifact that also you can get with Urza Saga. It helps with Nettle Cyst, Urza. Sigh. Sigh's whenever you cast an artifact. I mean that is encouraging. Sammy with the six gifted subs. <laughs> To take that second place spot. Fair enough. Really appreciate it, man. You guys are ridiculous. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Sorry, babe. You got knocked out. Is this just worse than, like... I don't want a Wrath of God, because I do feel like we're playing a decent amount of creatures. Like, Chroma Seed Shark, Psy. Could just be Monastery Mentor, too. We only have, we, like, we have a lot of spells. You know? Fascinating. Sammy, have a good afternoon, buddy. <laughs> uh, I did see the new Curb trailer. I'm really, really sad that it's the final season, and I'm crossing my fingers that Larry just changes his mind and makes another season, because he's done that before. He's literally said this would be the last season of, you know, whatever season. And then he's changed his mind and done another season and then kept going. I feel like this Aether Spellbomb is the toughest choice here. Like, is Jace, Welder of Mysteries, better? I don't think I want any double white cards. So I think Elspeth and Sarah and Wrath are out for now. I do wonder if I have just the mana for this. I mean, between Mox, Opal, Monolith, two Talismans, a Coalition Relic, a Mox, like, it's not impossible. We have Golos to ramp us. We also have Golos to hit this. Wow, sub goal is looking good today. <laughs> oh, man. It's very healthy. It's a very healthy boy. I feel like this is one of the toughest decisions I've had to make in a draft for in quite a while. So I apologize for the delaying here. Um, would love to know what you guys think in the YouTube comments if you guys are watching. So just let me know down below what, what, the, what the choice is here. Portal of Phyrexia has a much bigger upside. I do feel like we're doing well on like top end threats with Kappa Cannoneer, Ugin, Genesis Engine. I don't know. That's the thing. <laughs> I'll tell you the correct answer. I mean, even Tameshi does have potential here. I do think I want the artifact. It, it works with Nettle Cyst. It triggers Psy. It's good with Urza. The spell is good with Chrome Host Seed Shark. Yeah, I'm just going to stick with this for now. We can get it with Urza Saga. It has a lot of interactions here. All right. Sort by color. Yeah, very low white. No double white, which is nice. Uh, Emerald Opal. And we're not playing that as a... So 8, 9, 10... 11, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
11, 7 plus Mox Opal. That actually seems probably okay. I don't think I want to go to 6 white. We do want to hit some of these relatively early, like Teferi or Staff. Both of our Talismans are also white, though. 9, 10, 11, 3. Yeah, I think 7, 11 is totally fine. Okay. All right. Well, fingers crossed. I have crossed my fingers. Oh, we get to play first. Exciting. Oh, this is a decent hand. Ooh, I like this a lot, actually. So we can't do anything here, but next turn we could go... Oh, man. We're so close to just... Oh, look at that little guy. Mox Emerald? Mox Emerald would be OP. It was not a Mox Emerald. Okay, so... <sighs> we could go Monolith. Tap it for two. We have one floating. One with Talisman. Mox Opal, Nettle Cyst, right? Like, that seems good. And then we have five mana next turn and a four, four. Theoretically, this gets around Ragavan. Oh, that's a good one. And dead. <laughs> so long, little germ. Oh, Manamorphose. Okay. All right. Don't do it. Oh, they, well, that's not, that's not a permanent solution, so that's good. Let's draw something that takes advantage of all these lands rather than something that is more lands. <laughs> oh, we're having a good time. And it's another artifact. <laughs> okay, that went well. Yep. All right. So land, play talisman, and now we can at least untap monolith. So then we, when we draw Ugin, Like, by not attacking, we kind of force them to use this pre-combat, and they don't get any more damage in. Yeah, I'm just going to force them to attack. Like, I don't feel like we're going to win the, the damage race in this game, so... Let them kill the cyst. <laughs> the old nettle cyst. It's not like Batter Skull, right? It can't bounce it? No? Okay. Yep. That'll do. Oh, well, <laughs> enjoy that. Do you not have the mana for it? <sighs> really? Oh my God, they don't have the mana for the one ring. That's amazing. Sure. You again. Leyline Binding. Well, that is a thing. I guess we just get rid of the Ragavan here. Wow. 
would have loved to hit the one ring ourselves. That would have been great. Probably put us right back in the game. Yeah, they're going to flip this and see our island, and that's fine. That's their turn, so. Sounds good. Okay. Well, I guess they're not doing that. That's actually pretty decent here. Wow. So next turn we can get back Nettle Cyst or Grim Monolith. Yeah, that's pretty good. Five Toughness is pretty decent here. Yeah. Definitely like Guardian Scalard. Definitely one of the more impressive recent additions to the cube that I wasn't sure about until I played with it. Let's not, for, let's not forget they got this sweet little 2-1. This guy doesn't have lifelink, right? That would be that would be probably too good. It's like Bane Slayer. Oh, we just win the game because of Guardian Scale Lord. <laughs> yeah, alright, that's pretty good. And it comes into play, so like we could just bring back Nettles' keep up subtlety. Wow, that was That was a game that we won. I kind of want Portable Hole instead of, uh, like, we saw Pride Mage and we saw Ragavan, both of which are great Portable Hole targets, so. I can see bringing in Wrath of God as well. Oh, this is fascinating. Turn two Coalition Relic off of Emerald into Mox Opal. Okay. Don't Ragavan again. Really? You're going to Ragavan both games in a row? Oh, thank goodness. Um, is there anything we can do with, like, Mox and Land? No, right? We need... We're sort of, like, one mana away from... Yeah, next turn's going to be good, though. We just go Land, Mox, Coalition Relic... Tarmogoyf. Sparrow's headquarters. Alright, we'll play Mox. Play land. I kind of just like Nettle Cyst here. It's gotta be Coalition Relic though, right? That just seems better. Yeah, it's a, it's a solid one too. Yeah, we're one mana shy of actually casting another three drop, but this is still a lot of mana for turn two, so. Oh, we just win this. <laughs> okay, okay. That would've been good. This into Nettle Cyst actually makes, puts another counter on it, right? All right, well, that was a good match. Every, everybody played hard. <laughs> Just, that was really something. John likes games. Thank you for the raid, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome, everybody. We just won a, we won a game, won a round, and now we're going into round two. I'll show the I'll show the deck while we wait for those just joining us. Yeah, look at this. Look at this old turtle. <laughs> Uh, Turtle Warrior as well. He can go in the domain archetype, or the, uh, yeah, the domain like warrior archetype as well. Max Juice. <laughs> don't, I don't want anyone talking in the chat anymore. Oh, interesting. Well, turn to. So, hmm. 
Definitely keeping this hand. I'm always reluctant to play this on turn one. I feel like it's hard to maximize your your constructs. Come on, give me that. Give me that mox. Oh, aggressive. You think they're getting their second land? One can only hope. Is Sunny D a juice? Hard to say. Yeah, let's just go Colonnade here, and then we can play Grim Monolith next turn, which actually just lets us cast Cannoneer on three, or sigh into something else. Okay. Let's tap a Grimothy. And by tap a Grimothy, I mean tap these lands, then cast the Grimothy. Are you going to kill it? No, you're not going to kill it. I'm very fascinated by what's going on here. So we can play Saga, and then play Turtle off of Saga. And then next turn make a guy, and play this. I'm okay with that. That feels correct. Unless they have a counter spell. They did not, and this guy has Ward 4. Well, that's pretty good. Is this the Inquisition Concede? I feel like it's got to be... Oh, interesting. Okay. Well. Talisman, eh? So we can go land... If we go one, two talisman, we can still make a guy. Yeah, let's do that. We could make a guy now, but if they have like a toxic deluge or a wrath of God, I'd rather just not get the extra point. I'd rather just be able to make the guy at the end of the turn. To maximize our guy making abilities. I don't know how you're going to deal with this. Like, next turn I just have, like, a million power? We still have one ring, too? Okay. <laughs> like, if they make a guy, I'll concede. All right, well, that was a game right there. We saw Inquisition of Kozilek and Imperial Seal. One million. I don't even know what, what she's referring to. She's just saying stuff. Are you talking about the damage? Is that the damage I made? I said? Well, we're not keeping this. Why we'll keep this, though. Probably shipping Lorien Reeled. <laughs> One million Tahine Spice Crystals. Is that is that how they rate them? Big Boy Trent also went to six cards, so. Good for Big Boy Trent, you know. Faithless looting. This gives me a little bit better of an idea of what you're doing. You're going to do some nonsense is what you're going to do. What if we go Emerald into Urza Saga into Grim Monolith and then next turn we go Island Make a Guy? That seems good too, right? What do they put? Shieldred and Duretti. I don't know if I'm Duretti for that. We could also just play Nettle Cyst here. As a 3 3 that becomes a 4 4. Yeah, you know what? Sure. Oh, it's a 4-4, four, four, actually. Wait, one, two. This isn't an artifact. Oh, it's artifacts or enchantments. Oh, that's good.
Shouldred sack a creature token. Okay. You got it. So I'll just play island here. Necromancy. So you can just get back Shieldred here? I mean, that seems fine. Yep, all right. Nope. This guy... Let's get. Do we just get either spell bomb and <laughs> bounce there? <laughs> uh, I mean, we don't have a blue currently. That's probably better than Mox Opal here, right? This is equipped too, though. So if we get Mox Opal and Silent Clearing, we can just put it on this guy and attack for quite a lot. Yeah, we'll just get Spell Bomb here. And play Colonnade. And then attack you for six. I mean, we have two six sixes on board. Seems good. Wheel of Fortune would be pretty brutal here. That's fine. Yeah, they have one card. Sure. This was, yeah, this is fine. They have no cards in hand. I think we should have bounced during upkeep. I just realized that. Uh, one, two, three. Well, I think we're just going. So if we go one, two, three, make this. We have two mana, which means we can equip. But I think I'd rather just equip and then bounce the shieldred. Oh, undrum tuna with the bits. Really appreciate it. Yeah, that seems fine. Like, we have an 8-8. Eight, eight. <laughs> they can recast Shieldred, but then they kind of have to block. <sighs> Next turn, we get to play Golos. That's fine with me. So we just get to eat. <laughs> we just get to eat Shieldred here. We're one mana away from actually activating Colony and just killing them. So, since we're going to do it anyway, we might as well just play Golos first. And since we have a green, we'll get uh, Rafine's Tower for the black. Sure, good deal. Fine trade. I mean, they can reanimate something here. They could have done that last turn as well. Okay, that seems totally fine. Got rid of Cityscape Leveler and a Chrome Mox Inquisition. <laughs> okay, that's the end.
Just calling Aja. All right. Well, these have been good matches so far. <laughs> Our deck seems pretty decent. Nettles is actually doing a, a lot of work. Surprisingly. This is my first time actually playing with Nettle Sist since they added it to the cube. I'll keep this hand. Okay. Retrofitter Foundry. Boy, that's that's a card I would enjoy. So I think we're just playing Staff here, and then next turn we can play Talisman to Remand, or we can play the other way, but I think I'd rather just have Staff here. I mean, if they tinker us, we could possibly return whatever they get with either spell bomb. Sundering Titan would be sad. Cityscape Leveler would be scary. Attacking with your servo, not as scary. I will take one. like it I mean hopefully we get to counter whatever they play with Grim Monolith that seems like it'd be or, oh no never mind <laughs> guess not well five mana might stone and weak stone I don't I just don't like might stone and weak stone that much maybe I'm just crazy I don't know Five mana to draw two or to dismember something just seems like it's not the best deal. Like, the, the mana usage restriction is so high. Like, mana can't be spent to cast non-artifact spells. So that means you can only cast artifacts or activate abilities with it. Which is just not the most impressive. And if, like, you're not really able to take advantage of that mana, then it's, like... It's such an expensive card for the effects that it has. I mean, I actually liked it in the cube with Urza Lord Protector because the, the moments that you're able to like meld it are super cool. Because I think this Urza Planeswalker is really cool. And like, it's such a hard thing to do that like, 
it leaves to, it le it gives you like an achievement moment. There's a lot of things happening right now. Oh yeah, we're definitely remanding that. <laughs> but then they're going to mana drain our remand. No, they didn't. Okay. They kept two blue up. Deliberately tapping elf. Guardian Scale Lord. What do you do? One, two, three. We have five total mana. I mean, it's very obvious they have, like, Mana Drain right now. <laughs> and they just didn't want to use it because, like, they get to cast their spell next turn anyway. So it's not like it's... Might as well run this guy out. I think it's the weakest of our cards. <clears throat> It also doesn't die to the boat. Fascinating. Well, that's a thing. If only I had more blue sources here. Might as well see what we hit here. There's a blue source. <laughs> okay. Well, I feel like we're far behind here. It was kind of inevitable, right? I wonder if this is a Wrath of God matchup. It doesn't feel like it. They've played one creature and made two with a Retrofitter Foundry. Does Portable Hole hit artifacts as well? Not land permanent, so yes, all right. Being able to get rid of either of these, or the, either of these three with a Portable Hole is nice. Yep. do we want to ship this Lorien revealed for a land I don't think so we might pop this guy though but is that like if they if they make one of these a 4-4 it's like I'm pretty sure they still have a counter spell okay well that Interesting. They have one card. Fascinating. I am now fascinated. So we got here one, two, three. Okay. If they try to attack with the Sky Sovereign, we're probably going to bounce it. Because that lets us block a 1-1 one, one and take 3 from the Sky Sovereign when they replay it. And next turn, if we get back Chromo Seed Shark and also make a token, it's pretty good. I only have one card. Very curious. It's interesting that they tapped the halfling and then added, like, kept two blue up, but they didn't have anything that, like, needed two blue, or else they just, like, put the shields down for a turn just to get a coalition relic out. That seems weird. Checking the temperature because it's a little cold in here. 
Anybody else cold in here? It's at 72, so our heating is working again, which is nice. It went out Tuesday, and then they had to come back on Wednesday to finish off the fixing. Main phase make a servo. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they could have just been trying to bluff it for sure, but interesting because, like, I don't know if I would just try to bluff it and not, like, miss a point, but just attack attacking with Halfling. Okay, so they have one card in hand. That's good to know. Okay. Let's go to the beginning of combat. Yeah, I'm bouncing this thing. I'm at 14, I'm not gonna block, so. I'd rather be able to get an activation off of this, off of this. I can just replay it again. Deal three to Guardian Scale or it doesn't matter. Yep, that's fine. It's just creature, right? Creature or Planeswalker, okay. Okay, we're hoping for something better than that. We could also get either Spellbomb back with Guardian Scale Lord and just keep bouncing it. The problem is they can start oh. making the Thopters into, they can make this into a 4-4. Four -four. How much mana do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Assuming three is taken, we have four. <sighs> so it might just be, it might just be get back Seed Shark, play Genesis Engine, take a hit. That feels correct. So what they can, actually, what they can do here, <laughs> um, we actually kind of have to get Spellbomb back, I think. Cat with two heads. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate you. It is cold as heck today, man. It's 18 degrees, and the wind makes it feel so much worse. I'm going to see if it says feels like. Hold on. Feels like four degrees. <laughs> yeah. So if we attack, they actually sacrifice this Thopter for free to make a 4-4, four -four, and then they crew this guy. So I think we just have to attack, get the guy back. Yeah, that seems fine. I mean, it's not it's not the ideal scenario. We are in Fort Collins. Oh, they didn't, they didn't do the thing. Oh, they're just blocking. This is fine, I think. Yeah, they're just gonna sack it and make a, a four four. Man, retrofitter foundry is very good. <laughs> It's just like such an efficient mana dump and we're over here with the Urza Saga and no Retrofitter Foundry and it's just not nearly as fun. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have to play Genesis Engine here. I mean, what we could do is actually activate Genesis Engine, make a 1-1 with Urza Saga 
use the blue to bounce something and then use the white to draw a card. We miss out on a construct, but I do feel like that's a good use of mana. And the alternative is like not being able to, like if we just make a construct here, we don't get to bounce something. What's our artifact count? One, two, three, four. So it'll actually be a five, five. Eh, that's actually pretty good. We can easily block the four, four. We let them declare attacks, so they shoot something irrelevant. Oh, they're paying costs. All right, well, there's a lot of decisions here. Trinket Mage. What are the odds they get Skull Clamp here? 10,000%. Hey, there's Spellbomb putting in some work here. <laughs> Okie dokie. Dan it, dan it, dan it, dan it. Salsa shark. We're gonna need a bigger boat. Yeah, for some reason I'm really cold right now. I don't get it. The heat's on. I got a hoodie on. My hands are freezing, man. Okay, got two mana. Did you eat recently? Not super recently. I ate around probably 11. It's longer than I thought, wow. Actually, I think it was probably closer to noon. Crewing this guy. This is a lot of damage. If we make a guy, they just bounce it. Fascinating. Sure. I'm just going to let them attack. They have no cards in hand. Yep, okay. Yep, shoot my little dragon. You got it. Uh, let's... Genesis engine here. Like, if we make a construct, they just bounce it. Uh, let's discard island, I guess. Make a guy. Get a counter. Like, there's no point in bouncing this, because they just get to replay it and then kill our scale lord. One, two, three, four, five is pretty bad so we're just going to get rid of their 4-4 four, four. I think they're going to bounce our scale lord because it puts them in a really good position nope Oh, they're just going to sacrifice their servo? Sure. That's fine. Then we get to keep our pilot. Man, I feel like we're just losing the Sky Sovereign here. Oh, that's fascinating. Does that do anything? 
Do we make a guy here? I think so. Make a token. Okay. This goes away. We can get Mox Opal here. It's probably better than Mox Emerald. Play land. So we have one, two, three, four, six mana. And they can either spell bomb something. Yeah, all right. Let's see what we got here. Yep, that's what I figured they would do. So I think we just play Psy and Teferi. And we can bounce their boat. We could have also attacked with 8-8, eight, eight, but that doesn't really do anything. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yep, so next turn we can actually play this and... So this is 3. I recast an artifact spell. That's not going to... I guess we're going to Tefri first and draw a card. Oh, that's interesting. Creature or Planeswalker. So it does not actually do the thing we want it to do, unfortunately. It also does not kill Psy, though, which is worth noting. Is this enough? Like, do we survive? They, they kill this. We block two. Yeah, all right. We can also activate the... They can also just kill Teferi as well. Jaber, are you a Curb Your Enthusiasm fan? Okay, so they just they just have Academy. Academy's really good with Retrofitter Foundry, if you guys didn't know. This game has been kind of a grind. We have three more minutes than they do, which is nice. The Michael J. Fox one is good. <laughs> Parkinson's. Uh, yeah, can't counter that. It is not a creature or planeswalker. Oh, interesting. So is it worth having Genesis Engine up instead of the token? No, because like we're just losing a blocker either way. It's an 8-8 instead of a 5-5, right? But that shouldn't really matter on this turn. So. Yes, what's the single best time you've had at a Magic event not playing Magic and why? Not playing Magic. You ask very deep questions that, like, have me, uh, <laughs> like, going deep into the, the archives of the brain. Uh, block here, block here. Take three, go to two. Okay, this doesn't feel terrible, surprisingly. They're just going to make a 1-1 one, one out of it. Because, like, I have to, like, I'm like, let me go into all the magic events I've been to where I wasn't playing magic and had a good time. Man. 
Japan. Look at all this thing. All the, look at all these things they're doing. Well, that should be all they have. They can still untap it later and make a 4-4, four, four, but... I feel like we're a little far behind, you know? Not looking great for our hero. <laughs> okay, Leyline Binding gets rid of this guy for the mere cost of four mana. It's not great. Mm, boy. It's plus J's. I mean, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. We can scale Lord. Activate this. Get back Seed Shark. Play a Talisman to trigger Psy. How do we deal with this? <laughs> it's very difficult. Uh, I think we're probably just dead. We can also get back Spell Bomb to bounce this guy. That doesn't really solve a problem. I think we just have to go to the next game here. Not great. There's no like secret way to win here, right? So what if we start with Talisman? We can make this guy. Yeah, I guess we could just draw two since we probably want to do that anyway. Narset. Not great. Uh, let's pitch Lorien Revealed. Play a land, I guess. So that was basically free. Um, is this one ever attacks? Yeah, that's pretty good. Play this. A big scaly. Put a counter on Psy. Get back Spell Bomb. <laughs> this is really grabbing at straws here, I think, but. We're at two, we have four blockers and one bounce spell. They can kill one of our blockers. Yeah, one, two, three, four. The math is just not on our side here. If only Psy was enters the battlefield, wouldn't that be great? Yeah, might as well let him go through the motions here. We have an extra minute, two minutes on our clock, so. Sure. <laughs> so I have no cards on the board. No cards in hand. Everything is on the board. Yeah, I always yield to this. I don't care. <laughs> never gonna never gonna have a response. Yeah, they're just making enough guys to crew the, the Sky Sovereign without having to use active attackers. They have 10 mana floating. Seems good.
Yes. I think we just bounce that, right? It's got to be, it's the biggest attacker. And it takes out a different attacker. So, yeah, just get rid of it, I guess. They have one creature. <laughs> That's, we have one exactly enough. And uh, unfortunately, subtlety can't hit creatures on the board. We don't have the mana for this guy. Yep. <laughs> Literally one. Yeah, one, one enough. Yep. What can you do? All right, so definitely ringing in portable hole here that takes care of quite a few things. <sighs> Prismatic ending does as well. I don't know if it's better than leyline binding. Also, we can take subtlety out. I think prismatic ending is probably better than subtlety here. I don't think they're. I don't think Wrath of God is worth it just because they're not really a go wide deck until they get retrofitter foundry. Forty one cards. Is that fine? I think so. That game, that game was a pain in the portable hole. I mean, where are our explosive hands? I feel like we did pretty good with them in the first two rounds. And then once you stop getting them, it's all over. What's the beef locker? <laughs> oh, God. Come on. Come on. <sighs> One land in this hand is very, very good. I can't keep this on the draw on the play, right? Like, turn two monolith into, like, turn three ring... This is better, but just barely. Thank you. Oh, Irk, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. Let's get... Actually, it might just be Island here, because we want to go Urza Saga into land. Yeah, we'll just get Island. Great. I mean, this could just be the Nettle Sis turn. Yeah, that seems good. I feel like they didn't have a ton of answers to this kind of aggressive start. Next turn, this is going to be a 4-4, and we'll make another guy. Like, I didn't really see them do a bunch of stuff outside of Retrofitter Foundry. Like, they had a Sky Sovereign and a Retrofitter, and that's what kind of did us in. They mulligan? No way, right? No way did they mulligan. No, they began with. What's your zero one? 
uh, Mox Opal, Mox Emerald. <laughs> yeah, okay. You got it. Either spell bomb. Wow, two answers that we didn't see at all in the first game. Amazing. <sighs> well, they might not have a way to deal with metal sauce. Just kidding. Sure, make sure you get that re retrofitter foundry. <sighs> Oh, Mana Crypt instead. <laughs> okay. Sure. Uh, Retrofitter Foundry activate. I would also love a Talarian Academy. Where's my Academy? Yep, that's going to be hard to deal with. That'll do. Okay, so next turn they just attack for five, make two one ones. Snap, Terra Sunder, Talarian Academy, Mana Crypt, Anduril. Fantastic. I mean, I don't actually know if there's, like, what we could even do here to... We also have seven mana to our three. I guess we'll just take a million. Man, I was at least hoping to get a third game out of this. Um, it's six, so I don't know if I have time for a second right now. I might come back later and do another one, though. But Katie might be napping as well, so maybe I just jump into one. Yeah, I'll probably do another. <laughs> I do want to, so. And I think Katie's snoozing. Oh, good. No, Michael, I don't need any coasters. I have a water bottle that's insulated, so it doesn't really get condensation on it. Teferi Time Raveler. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Good times. Thanks for watching. Really miserable round three, but the first two rounds were nice, so what can you do? Yeah, that's all I got. I'll see you next time.